Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transform review. Heck yeah. Why not? All right, today I'll be taking a look at Studio Series number 59. This is Shatter. This is the Jet Mode one. Ooh, ooh. Shatter coming at you. Bam. Another bam. And then you got the back of the box that shows all the bamness. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, let's just get to the review. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It smells so good. I love new Transformers. How about I get this little fella out, little lady out, not fella, and take a look at her, transform her, do all that wonderful stuff, get to know her better, and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. How about that? All right, how you like them apples? Yeah. All right, there is Shatter in her uh, alt mode. So let's take a quick look. Uh, she does come with a little activity scene, just like all the studio series. That one scene where I guess they invented the internet. <laughs> really weird. I don't know, but kind of funny. Uh, wings are too long, you know, spread out so you really can't this player that on there but it's pretty cool they throw this in there's a bumblebee movie so that's awesome it's awesome you know just something little you can do anything so let's take a quick look at her pretty cool love the jet mode it's really nice jet mode i like it not a lot of paint it's got some paint right here nice little dark you know red right there a little red right here um this is plastic and that's plastic you got a soft kind of Rubbery kind of plastic right there. And these are soft also as well, but you can move these. You got our little weapons. I'll show you that in alt mode or bot mode. Landing gear. You can flip it up as well. So that's pretty cool. And you got the little landing gear right there. So it's a really cool jet mode. I love the transformation. The transformation was actually fun on this one. A lot better than the car one. But yeah, it was really enjoyable. So you got right there. Got the little thrusters or whatever right there. Lots of stuff going on down here, but you know, it's clean, hides up everything mostly. So, really nicely done. I like that alt mode, it's really good. So, there you go, there is Shatter in her uh, alt mode. All right, quick comparison here she is in her um, jet mode and the car mode. I love both modes. I actually might leave them in this, actually, to be honest. I love the car mode for her, but it was a terrible transformation. It was just arms kept popping off all the time, so but. There you go. Ah, these won't. These don't stay on that well. There you go. All right. There she is. Just wee. So, pretty cool. Yeah, there she is. There's a car mode and there's her uh, jet mode. Cause she is a triple changer. Mm-hmm. She is a lady. All right. Quick scale comparison. There you go. There's Siege sideswipe. There's Bumblebee, so not really in skill because Bumblebee should not be as big as a jet. And there's tracks right there. Scale and Crapagonic, some pepper spray and crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, let's see if we can transform this little lady. All right, I'm gonna take off these real quick. Pop them off. You don't have to have them there, but nice little storage space. What you wanna do is you wanna flip up this little piece right here. Flip these up and disconnect right here like that you're gonna disconnect these two like that you're gonna separate like that all right then you're gonna go move these around like that like that and you're gonna bring this up all like that and move these down like that move that up like that and then That one go. Oh, okay, let's hold it. It's held up. Okay. And look like that, something like that. Alright, then you got take this piece right there. What you want to do is move this all the way like that. And move our arms separated. They are separated, but they work together. And you just do that. Do that. Move her head up. Gonna do a 180 right here. Same like that. And be looking something like this. Head reveal. Turn these around. And 
it look like something like this right now. All right. So then you want to make sure take this out. Oops. Nope. You got to leave this out. And this is going to collapse down right there. There's a little spot right here. You just uh, may take a little bit, but it's supposed to go in there. But you got to try to do it while it don't collapse into there. I guess it'll be alright like that. And fold down this right there. And it looks like something like that, but it'll be like that. And then, see, I may have to do this off camera, but you got to collapse it down like that. And then it's going to go into this right here. A little K right there, but I'll be right back. All right, I was able to get in there. So what you got to do also, I forgot, don't flip down and lift that up back again. Take this and leave this right there. So there's a hole right there. And then you plug it. There's a thing right there and you plug this in to like this. Like that. So you would leave it like that. And then move the arms down like that. And with the legs, you gotta move these up like that. Do a 180 around oh, at the knee. 180 right there. Untab it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> move it up like that. Move the foot down like that. Situate the uh, thrusters or whatever the big old backpack, however you want to. But everything it should be hey, that tap it's not tabbed in that well. Uh, I'll have to work with it. But basically, that's how you transform her from uh, jet mode to bot mode. There you go, shattered. All right, let's take a look at her. Here she is holding her little, you know, guns or whatever. Turn humans into goop, whatever you want to. I think that was drop kick, but you know. I slide in, you know. She can hold them just, just fine. All right, put them over there. Let's take a look at her. So, a better face sculpt this time. At least you can tell she has eyes in this one, I guess. But they just put silver, you know, I think that's silver paint, and they just put it over the red plastic, so it kind of has red eyes. Kind of looks like a demon skull or something. And then a little paint on the side right there for the ears and everything, so it's pretty cool. So, she can... Uh, not look down very much, but you can look up quite a bit. Side to side, but it kind of hinders. Can't really go all the way around, to be honest. I mean, you have to force it. And, eh, no attitude, really. But, you know, decent head sculpt. Lots of details right here up on her shoulders and everything and her chest. I like that they still made it look like she has a car, you know, chest right there. That's pretty cool. Nice silver paint. Tons of molded detail right here down in the abdomen and chest area. So it looks really good. Okay, up here, got some nice silver paint right there and a little detail or a little accent piece right there. Um, you can go around, I guess. You have to manipulate it, but, you know, she does have a bicep swivel, 90-degree uh, knee or uh, elbow bend. Some nice detailed work right there. And uh, nothing for the hands and everything, so. Uh, no waist swivel. That sucks. Move these out of the way. Like I said, nice and detailed. Um, she can go out to that far for the Van Dam. Kick up, kick back. A uh, little thigh swivel, not much. So she really hinders on uh, articulation. Nice knees, got paint right here. Nice detail for the thighs. She does have a um, knee bend and she does have a knee swivel. So I guess I can act as a swivel right there if you want to get into different positions. Uh, nice silver paint right there and the red paint right there. Toe tilt up, uh, not much back, and no rocker either as well, so that sucks. And then you got this, so now you can move these, you know, these little wings up there, you can move them, you know, wherever you want to. Pretty cool. Um, this will, if you do, you know, this will come unpegged a lot when you're trying to uh, manipulate her, you know, trying to, you know, situate her and to get to a good move or a, a good stance or something. So that kind of sucks, but huge backpack, huge backpack. <laughs> So, yeah, it's got to go somewhere, but there she is from the back. Yeah, not terrible. It's a lot better than the car one, I can tell you that. At least the arms don't pop off every time you just, you know, breathe on it. But, 
you know, it's got a lot of stuff on the back, you know. She's got a whole world on her back. So, yeah. So there's the sculpt work and the articulation for Shatter from Studio Series Jet Mode. And there they are next to each other, the car mode and the jet mode one. So yeah, I like the head sculpt better on that. I do love both alt modes to be honest, man. But there they are in difference. A lot more, a lot more going on with this one than the car mode. But there you go. And there she is next to Voyager Optimus Prime. The two drop kicks and Bumblebee. Scale. Crapagonics, some pepper spray, crappy tool paper, and squeaks. Scale. Doll. All right, let's talk about some Studio Series Shatter in her jet mode. Now, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. It's, it's better than the car mode. A lot better. I like it. I love the alt mode. I love both alt modes, actually. I'm probably going to keep them like that. Uh, transformation was fun. I really liked doing that. It's a really good transformation. It's a lot better, like I said, than the car mode. Um, articulation is really lacking. No way swivel. I forgot to mention, she does have an ab crunch. You know, if you untab the back, like I showed you, it will start untabbing. You do get an ab crunch in there, but no rocker, you know, so limitation with the head movement and everything. So it's kind of limited. She does have a big backpack. It gets in the way a little bit, but you can kind of manipulate it and move it out of the way sometimes. But like I said, it will get in the way. Uh, the paint, really nice paint in the bot mode. Not, not really a lot in the alt mode, but she does really have some nice details and nicely painted, uh, you know, parts on her and everything. I like the head sculpt; it's really nice. Uh, so you know, it's you know, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, great details and everything. Nice, lots of uh, sculpted work and all that stuff. But yeah, you know, it's just lacking. You know, the articulation. You know, you got the backpack and everything. So I don't know. I like this one a lot better than the car mode one. Uh, I would suggest getting both if you want, you know, if you like her, you know, as a character and everything. I thought she was a cool character on the Bumblebee movie. Uh, so I really like both of them. I'm really surprised they haven't done a triple changer yet with her and uh, Dropkick. It's kind of weird they could do a Voyager, maybe even a later class of a triple changer. I thought they may tackle that, but I don't know. It looks like we, I don't think we're going to get that anyways. But overall, she's fine. You know, she's not the worst, you know, studio series by far. She's not the great one by far either. I like her. She's pretty cool. Um, I like the little weapons too. That's a little nice little add on to it and everything. So overall, she's just fine. All right. You know what else is fine? Get in on the floor and do some floor time. Why don't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, like I said, she does have an ad crunch if you untab it like that from the back. I told you. You know, you can't get an ad crunch, so that's pretty cool. So overall, this you know this line of uh, Studio Series with the uh, Roadbuster and the Off-Road Bumblebee was kind of you know wasn't spectacular, which I love the Studio Series. I think they've done a really good job. But this one was just kind of eh, you know, it was fine. I like the Bumblebee; it was pretty good. Um, Roadbuster was really a letdown, and uh, just the articulation, you know, was really lacking on this one. But I can understand you got this big old you know jet mode on her back, so. I can understand, but really nicely done details and the sculpt work. It's got some nice paint too and everything. So, you know, overall, she's pretty cool. I like her. I love her in jet mode too. Do, 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 do. I am Shatter. What's up, Shatter? Yes. <laughs> why, why does Shatter have a deep voice? <laughs> Anyways, it's a female. Where is Bumblebee? I need Bumblebee because we are going to destroy Bumblebee. Well, I don't know where Bumblebee is. I'm chicken. This is uh, Alpha Bravo. This is Dirtfire. You got Kick the Baby over there. Okay, hold on. Kick the Baby. So everything. You got Pooper Scooper, Starscream over here. What's up? How you doing? Oh, female. How you doing? All right. Man, Starscream, get over there. I'm sorry. I'll be on my corner. I need Bumblebee. Well, I told you, I don't know where Bumblebee is. You're just going to have to go look for him. You invented the internet. I'm sure you can find him. My God. Yes, we did invent the internet. Yes. America. Oh wait, there's Bumblebee. Pfft, ah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, get over there. <laughs> All right, well, that was my review for the uh, Studio Series Shatter in her jet mode. Like I said, pretty cool. I love the details and sculpt work and all that stuff, and she's pretty cool. Just wish she had a little better articulation, but oh well, it'll be all right. All right, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel and you like the uh, review. Uh, hit me up with some uh, comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And if you're in on Studio Series Shatter. And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, uh, another review, I guess. 
And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro. And good night, folks. Ah, I found Bumblebee. He kicked my ass.